Paul Hagen joins us now, and we're going to get another round of rain coming our way. Right. This one isn't going to be as heavy as what we had yesterday, beginning already late Saturday night into Sunday. But there is another round of rain that's going to be dropping in with another storm system tomorrow. After that one moves through, we're going to dry out Thursday afternoon, and that dry break is going to continue Friday, Saturday into Saturday night, and maybe into Sunday. That's kind of the iffy part of the forecast at this point, but several consecutive dry days to let the latest round of rain soak in. But that next round of rain still approaching and we're still getting a few straggling showers left over from the last storm system. A lot of activity has remained out over the Pacific, but a few showers down the peninsula, mainly in the higher elevations. Don't be surprised if you get a couple sprinkles on the windshield if you're going to be out and about tonight, but we're not talking about anything more than a trace, maybe a couple hundredths of an inch of additional rainfall. Let's focus on the next chance of rain. It is going to be dropping into the North Bay tomorrow. That first First wave of rain. This one is largely going to evaporate, but that provides the moisture that raises the humidity levels and allows the next wave of rain to actually reach ground level. That's going to move into the North Bay already by late morning with that rain line dropping towards the Golden Gate by noon, and then the rain spreads across the rest of the Bay Area as we head into the afternoon. There are going to be some locally heavier downpours, especially in the higher elevations, but overall, this isn't going to be as long-lived a storm system as what we just went through, and it's not going to provide the same rainfall amounts. The heaviest downpours will still be heavy. This line on the radar simulation at 8 o'clock, that develops right along the cold front that's driving this. It just squeezes the atmosphere and forces more rain out. Once that moves through, we're going to see lighter off and on shower activity for the rest of Wednesday night, continuing into the early hours of Thursday morning. So Thursday could be a day a lot like today where we see some sunshine peeking through. But we also have a few of those leftover showers still remaining possible. Total rainfall amounts out of this one are going to range mostly between a half an inch and an inch. But there are going to be some lower amounts, especially in the rain shadow of the Santa Cruz Mountains. And there are going to be some higher amounts, especially in the Santa Cruz Mountains and the higher elevations of the North Bay. This is going to be mostly beneficial rain. I don't think it's going to have that widespread flooding threat or the potential for additional debris flows. But it's something we'll keep an eye on just in case. It's also going to be breezy tomorrow. The winds tonight aren't going to be a problem. They'll be a bit more noticeable early tomorrow morning, but the strongest gusts will be 10 to 15 miles an hour. Those gusts will be closer to 20 to 30 miles an hour, especially along the coast by midday tomorrow, with the strongest gusts late tomorrow afternoon as that cold front approaches and squeezes the atmosphere. Inland gusts up to around 30 miles an hour, and along the coast, 30 to 40 mile an hour wind gusts are going to be possible. Keep both hands on the wheel because the roads are going to be wet and that wind is going to try to move you around on the road. There's another winter storm warning effect for the high Sierra. They're not going to pick up quite as much snow, but it's still going to be another foot to a foot and a half on a widespread basis and above 7,000 feet, an additional two to three feet of snow. And it's going to be windy. Sustained wind gusts up to 30 to 40 miles an hour. The highest peaks up to 80 mile an hour winds. So that's going to be another treacherous travel situation on US 50 and on I-80. Back to what's happening in the Bay Area. Just a little bit of light left on the horizon behind those clouds producing those straggling showers. Temperatures today were on the cool side. A good 5, 6, 7 degrees below average. Only 49 in Pacifica. 53 for the warmest location in Santa Rosa. And temperatures right now mostly drop back down into the 40s and will end up in the 30s by early tomorrow tomorrow morning inland with low to mid 40s around the bay and along the coast. With the clouds overhead, with the rain chances moving in from north to south, we're not going to warm up a whole lot. Tomorrow's high temperatures pretty close to where we were today, even with that southerly wind trying to help us out. Temperatures only topping out in the lower half of the 50s. Some of the coolest spots staying short of 50 degrees for afternoon highs. Temperatures don't change much even once we dry out late Thursday with that dry break continuing Friday and Saturday. And we're leaving Sunday's forecast dry during the day. That next chance of showers is going to move in Sunday night into Monday and Tuesday. That could be associated with another weak to moderate atmospheric river. It's something we'll be able to focus more on once we have this next round of rain in the rearview mirror. But at least we get a few dry days, including for most of the weekend. 